Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and bake back, baby! Today we got some new moments cards. I will say though, little bit disappointed, just a little bit, that we didn't get one that we really should have got, but we still got a new Ruby card, which I'm gonna pull some packs for. He's one of my favorite big men in the NBA today. So, we're gonna pull some packs, take a look at the new moments cards, and I'm gonna rant a little bit, because that's what I do, that's why I, I really do. Oh, we'll come over to the new moments collection. You guys can see right here is moment seven. They have a new Demarius Cunz, a Ruby card. You can see one has been pulled right here, 100K. I don't know what he's actually going for. I'm sure there have been a couple pulled right there is the only one I've seen so far. And uh, there is another one right there, but wow. Only two of them pulled so far. It looks like not a good odd. Definitely not. But let's check out his stats against the ammo version because I've sold the Sapphire one because, uh, yeah, I mean, he was going for like 30k. So I, I made my profit. That's what I do. Didn't need him really. But you guys can see his stats all go up plus 7 to everything. Great mid-range at 80. Much better. I like that. The 80 range for pretty much any stat is always really good. His three-point shot really didn't go up too much. It is at a 74 for the open shot three, but, I mean, the Emerald card was able to knock down threes. Like, I hit a lot of threes with that card. I mean, yeah, it's pretty nice. So, that's not too bad. Free throw goes up as well, which is critical. You gotta be able to hit your free throws. Passing goes up. And pretty much, look at the offense rebound. Wow, goes away a ton. It was from a 56 to an 80. It goes from pretty much, hey, he's not grabbing no offensive boards, to, hey, He's actually a pretty decent offensive rebounder. And then blocking shots as goes up a bit. So, yeah, that's a really good card. I like the improvements made to this uh, Ruby Demarius Guns. That's definitely worth picking up. Obviously not for 100,000 MT, but if we pull them in a pack, might have to use them a bit and then sell them for 100K. And then, of course, we did get some other players who had great games last night. Derek Rose for the first time this year cracked the 30 mark, and boom, he got himself a new card. We also got this new Rudy Gobert, and he's already down to 8K, which is pretty cheap. You would think he'd go for more than that. And I, I thought we got a new card as well, but it, it must be in this set. I can't remember which it was. Um, not Glenn Robinson. I'm not really not sure who it was. We got a new Jeremy Lamb as well. He's going for about the same price. But yeah, I don't really know even what Jeremy Lamb did last night. All I know is they definitely slept on a few guys. One of them being Russell freaking Westbrook, man. So Westbrook right now, currently averaging a triple-double. We're 19 games of the year. It's not like we're 10 games in or something like that. By the way, the last time a player has averaged a triple-double this late in the year, it's Oscar freaking Robinson in 1961-62. Are you kidding me? It's been damn near 60 freaking years since that. And we don't have a, a moments card today, an Amethyst moments card, especially after last night's beastly game. Dude almost had... 30, 20, and like, and, and damn near 20. Like, it was a monster last night. I think he finished with like 27, 18, and 14, but like, are you kidding me? How, how is it gonna get better than that? If he, if he, he does that, and we can't get an amethyst, what the freak is he gonna have to do to get a diamond or pick that? Put up 40, 40, and 40? Like, what the heck, man? That's crazy. I, I don't understand that. I mean, a lot of people said it's too early on in the year, but they already are dropping amethyst cards. Like, we're getting amethyst. So, why would they not give a moment Amethyst for I don't understand. Like, I'm fine with the last two being really, really hard to get. But the Amethyst one shouldn't be that hard to get. Like, we're getting Amethyst players. People are starting to get those. They've been dropping those into packs. So, why not drop the moments card here? I don't understand that. And again, don't say it wasn't because, oh, last night's game wasn't that great. They won the game. He was huge. Like, it, th this could have been his best performance of the year. Which is crazy to say because he's had so many good games. And it's like, really? He's now averaging a triple-double, too. Like, crazy historic. The last time, also, another quick fact. Last time a player was averaging a triple-double mid, like, partially through the year was Magic Johnson, who averaged it nine games through the year. Like, the first nine, he was averaging a triple-double. And, again, that's over 30 years ago. Like, really? I don't know. I just think they're tripping a little bit there. Pretty frustrating. We should have wo woke up to an Amethyst Moments card, and I woke up to that, and I was like, really? Like, this should have been a no-brainer. Quickly before we do open a few packs, trying to get, uh, not Russell Westbrook, <laughs> trying to get, obviously, the, uh, Ruby Demaris Cousins, but we have this ball card that's a, uh, disco ball, kind of neat, how, how that flare is a different, uh, different kind of diamond look than the other diamonds, usually they do that crazy thing, but that was, that was kind of wavy, that was different, I like that, ooh, but we got this disco ball, I don't even know if I'm gonna use it, cause, I kind of, I heard it looks kind of weird on the court. We'll have to see what it looks like after this, but let's open up a couple boxes, see if we can get that Marcus, or maybe LeBron. He's still out there as well, so there are reasons to open it. So why don't we do a 20-packer, see what's cooking, good looking. But other than that, I guess I don't have too much to rant about. I just, that one little thing, that, that was like, ah, really? Like, 
We couldn't have got him, man. We really should have, I thought. But we'll open it up the packs anyways. I like opening the packs this year. The odds right now have been pretty solid for me. When we've been able to pull Amethyst players, we've been able to pull, you know, rubies. We have had a couple of dry spells where we haven't been able to pull a ruby in, like, forever. That has happened before, and that was frustrating. We did get Wilson Chandler right there. New Nomads player recently came out. But, yeah, it is frustrating when you go through a uh, pack spell and you can't pull anything. That definitely would piss me off. But, so far, my packs have been pretty good this year. Definitely can't complain. I'm enjoying the game. I feel like the video has been pretty good recently. And I, I think you guys have felt the same way as well. And we have December coming up, which I told you guys I was going to do the 25 days, 25 game plays with like a whole bunch of theme lineups and teams. We're definitely going to be doing that. Still thinking of some themes and teams. That's kind of a tongue twister. Themes and teams to do for that. But yeah, that is coming. Definitely is. It's almost December 1st. We're getting there. I don't know why I'm looking at my, my wrist like we have a, a calendar on it, but it's getting there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, definitely is, man. Pretty excited for the holiday season coming up. And just the content ramping up as it usually does around this time of the year. I'm telling you, December last year in the past few years, they dropped them in story players. It usually ramps up around this time because they know this is when people are spending the bread. I'm still surprised we didn't get anything for Cyber Monday or even Black Friday, but that's beyond me. <laughs> but not trying to make this a rant video, just trying to open a couple quick packs. We're almost 10 packs through. No emeralds, no sapphires. Just a lot of bronze and silver players. Oh boy. Come on, baby. Let's rub the hands. Get the Birdman hand rub going. All right, Sapphire. Okay, it worked. It might have just worked. We got ourselves a Sapphire player. Can it be one of the new ones? Maybe the Kyrie Irving? And it's Steph Curry, the one who goes for nothing and we talked about in that one video. Okay. <laughs> that definitely was a bummer. Little bit of a bummer there. Definitely not what I wanted. Would have loved that Carmelo Anthony, man. Ooh, we do get the new Jeremy Lamb right here. Of course. One of the new cards, and it's the gold one. But I'll take it. Goes towards my card collection. Wish they were dropping some more of those lacquer codes. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Wonder what happened there. Maybe they're they're switching it up. Maybe they're not going to drop any more of those free agent cards. Maybe they've given up hope on those. I gotta say, the Lakers have actually been really playing well this year. I'm, I'm surprised. Like, they have definitely been uh, performing to their max capabilities, I suppose. But, man, these packs are definitely not right now. I definitely like the fact that they dropped Silver Moments cards, but... Definitely don't love when all my packs are filled with them. Man, we got like 10 silver moments cards, but nothing really too great. Couple packs left in this box. Boy! Another silver moments card. Like, eh. Crash, we're gonna do one 10 box. See if we, that can be a little bit better. And then we're done, I think. That was terrible, man. Definitely not one of my better pack openings. My goodness, one Sapphire player out of 20 boxes. Ugh, 20 packs. I'm kind of hoping that we get some good throwback teams this week. Definitely need some good content. Feels like it has been a while. I will say the Big Men packs, it says that those are gone Friday. I don't know if that's a glitch. They have had that before where the counter was just wrong. So who knows if that's a glitch or not. But man, definitely not a fan of them Roy Hibberton packs. My goodness, bro. We do get an Emerald card finally. And it's Derek Rose. There we go, man. Finally. We pull a damn good card. It only took us 26 packs before we got an emerald. And the first one is Derek Rose right there. We get one of the moments cards from last night. So now we've actually pulled two of them. Just haven't pulled the really good ones. Haven't pulled the ruby. I mean, these packs have been dry today, so I'm not really too surprised. We pulled Terrence Jones right there. I think he is new. I don't think I've had him. He's been out for a while, but I, I never went out and scooped him. Couple packs left, though. Definitely done here. I might try out that Derek Rose, see what he's cooking, or at least throw him on the all-time Knicks team for sure. Definitely won't be selling him. Al Horford right there just had a uh, newborn child recently. He actually sat out yesterday's game, and some people were giving him hate and criticism for that. And I'm just like, he just had a kid. Like, what? Like, that's so ridiculous. Not like he missed 10 to 15. He missed one game. <laughs> that's so crazy, man. I find that absolutely ridiculous. I know he did miss some time with the concussion, but he can't control that shit. Like, man, some of y'all are wild. Here's what I was talking about with the big man packs. It says they're only up for six more days, just like the uh, throwback ones, so... I don't understand that. The throwback ones, in fact, six days, that, that can't be right. Th Thursday is in three days, so I don't understand that. <laughs> it's definitely not. These definitely are messed up or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we will see. Do we get uh, some new packs on Thursday? Maybe we get, maybe it's in six days. I don't know. I don't know why it would be in six days and not Thursday. So that might be error. I don't know, but we'll wait and see. We did not pull Ruby Cousins. We did pull Derek Rose, though. I do want to check out stats at least. We didn't do that. There is the Derek Rose, though. Comes with no badges. Okay, that's that's nice. But let's check out his stats really quickly. Is he usable? How good is he? 
We got a nice mid-range on him with the 82 contested. Open is actually worse than contested, but off the dribble is nice. 82, that's a good pull-up mid-range. He even has a little bit of a three-ball at a 75. That's not too shabby. Free throw is pretty nice at 84. This is nice, man. It's been a while. Dirt Row is really uh, starting to get back into form, it looks like. I really hope that dude stays healthy, man. I really do. 84, dri 86 driving layup, not too bad as well. Ball control is nice at 88. The 82 passing average, a good passer. Definitely not a great rebounder. Definitely a bit slower than he used to be at 73 lateral quickness. His uh, steal, 58. Oof. Man, definitely not the best defensive guard. Oh, my goodness. But, and uh, even his, dr his dunk is a 35 now? He still has 95 speed, though, which is nice. But his lateral quickness down in the 70s, so... It's not a terrible card. It's a nice card. I'm sure he can probably get buckets. I might want to try him out on Blacktop. That might be a good place for him. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. The quick pack opening. Seeing if we get anything. But we didn't really uh, pull anything too crazy. I'm not going to lie to y'all and act like we just oh, pull fire. Well, we really didn't. But we did get Derek Rose. Nice new card. But hope you guys did enjoy. I will get you guys a gameplay very, very soon. And yeah, soon we will kick off. The 25 days of my team will be kicking off soon. Whatever we want to call it. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, leave a like for more videos, please. Thanks, homie.